Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up um, a multi-instrument in the environment um, in Apple's Logic Pro. Okay, so what I've been doing is um, I've been creating uh, multi-instruments in, um, in the environment view. So what I want to do is I want to set up some more of my external equipment. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and let me see if I can zoom out here a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to go to the Environment. Open up the Environment, and then what you get is this window right here. It looks like this, and I've already added two of my instruments in here, so MB33 and an MC303. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go up to the top so I can get this little focus better here. Uh, too close. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the focus right here. Okay, so that's pretty clear. Okay, so I'm going to go up to New. And then I'm going to select Multi Instrument. Say OK. And then you get this window that opens up like right here. I'm going to take it and slide it over here. Okay, and so the next thing I do, I need to do is uh, pick a port. So ports basically equal your MIDI timepiece. That would be, for example, my MIDI timepiece is the MIDI timepiece that you can see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and since I already know that um, on this mixer right here or this multi instrument, I've got the MB33. Um, that that's on. Um, port 2, but you have to make sure that if you have um, instruments that have ports hooked up um, that you're using the right one. So for example, if you look here you'll see this is port 1, port 2, port 3, port 4, and you'll see right here next to it it says MCU Pro, right? That's my Mackie control mixer, so that would be this one right here. So it has, um, on the back of it, it has um, hookups for doing multiple MIDI stuff as well. So make sure you pick the right one. I've got my MB33 on port 2 and on port 3 I have a MC303. So there's MB33 and MC303. So on this next one over here that I just put in I'm gonna add another port. So I'm gonna come over here and right now its current setting is set to port all. I don't want it on port all. I want to select a different port that has instruments. So let's just say I select port one. Port one should be my should be my Korg keyboard. So I'm going to select port one and then I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to click off all these guys here. That's basically how many instrument tracks you want for each each one of these instruments. So I want 16. So I'm going to slide that up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name down here. And you can change the name by going over to um, the window right here and clicking this box. And you can just type it over. But I want to find out what instrument I'm going to use. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main window view. And right here it says Grand Piano. I'm just going to go down to the bottom of my, my window. And I'm going to double click here. It's going to create me another grand piano track. Now I'm just going to take this and I want to slide it up. I just need to grab it first. There we go. Grab it up to the top. Um, I was going to put it right under the other keyboard. So now I have two grand pianos there. And so what I want to do now is I want to tell this to, because right now it's on MC303. You can see that it says MC303 right there, and that is the MC303. Um, I don't want it to be on the MC303, so I'm going to change this, holding down my left mouse button on where it says Grand Piano, and then if you look over, it says MIDI Instrument, I'm going to select MIDI Instrument, and if you look over again, you'll see MB33, MC303, and Multi Instrument. I'm going to select Multi Instrument, and I'm going to select Grand Piano, and now that's my Korg. X5 playing through there. And so if I turn this volume down, you won't hear anything, right? Because there's no sound. 
Oh, you turn it up. So that's the Korg M1, uh, not the Korg M1, excuse me, the Korg X5 playing through there now. So that's how you set up an instrument using the environment. So again, um, I'm going to now just change the name of this instrument right here. So it says, instead of saying multi-instrument, it's going to say Korg um, X5. So I'm going to go back to Window, right Window, and then to the environment again. Okay, and now I want to change the name here. For this one, so I click on it, right? So I just clicked on it, and you can see it's highlighted white. Now I'm going to go over to the name, click on, oops, I don't want to do that. Click right in here. Uh, give me a second, it's giving me a hard time. Hang on. Here. change the name. Actually, I'm going to just change the name right up in here to Korg X5. So backspace and then just type Korg X5. And then it's Korg X5. Enter. So now I typed in um, Korg X5 right here. Sorry for all the zooming. Just trying to get see. This is a Korg X5. Okay, so there it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and close it. And if we go back uh, to our other window, now it says Korg X5. Hang on. There it is right here, Korg X5. See, there it is, Korg X5. Okay. So that's how you add an instrument in the environment. You go to, again, real quick, go to window, go to the environment. And then go to new instrument, multi-instrument, okay, select your new multi-instrument, drag it over, right, then what you need to do is select a port, so make sure you select the right port when you're selecting the port, otherwise it'll screw you up, so select the port, come down and find the port, I'm going to select port 2, I don't even know if I have anything on port 2, but we'll find out in a few minutes, so port 2, go ahead and click off all these guys right here, and the reason why I'm not naming it yet is because I don't know what's on port 2, Technically, normally you would write down the instruments that you're putting on each one on the back, but I've had my hooked up um, for a while and I haven't looked at it, so and I lost my paper with all of my instruments. I had it written down, so my bad. Anyway, um, so here it is. I'm clicking on the instrument. Sorry, I'm trying to do multiple things at one time. So there it is. There's the instrument, and now I'm going to come over here and select. So I already selected port 2. Now I'm just going to make a duplicate of this track here. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and double click here. And then I'm going to drag it up to the top underneath the other Quarry X5 that I created earlier. And now I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button, click instrument, and then select multi instrument here. And then I'm just going to select one. Okay, so that's the virus. That's this, that's this machine right here playing back the virus C awesome machine so now the only thing I have to do is just go in there and name it real quick so I'm gonna just go into the environment real fast go back to Windows go to the environment and then I'm gonna just go over here click on this and just type in virus virus C enter and so there it shows virus C in here now, right? And I'll close the environment, and now it shows virus C here as well. So at this point, if I wanted to make more tracks for each one of these instruments, it would just be a matter of me going to the bottom and just changing the channel number, and that's it. And then I'd have 16 channels for each one of these new instruments I've just added. So, um, so anyway, so that's how you um, that's how you add. Um, instruments into um, Logic Pro. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to learn more. I appreciate all the subscribers so far. So thanks everyone and have a good night. Bye.